is polka dot a crypto asset you should have in your portfolio for this bull market that's the question we're answering in this video and we're going to go into the details as to what is new for polka dot is it even still relevant and what could happen to its price during this bull market so first and foremost we need to get a better understanding of what polka dot is as a blockchain this is mainly a layer zero if we want to associate it to a specific layer but basically polka dot is a blockchain platform that connects to different blockchains allowing them to work together and share information securely now we're going to get into the specifics of these parachains and how they all interconnect and work together but ultimately what polka dot has as a main mission is to solve problems like scalability interoperability and enabling multiple blockchains to communicate with one another share data and benefit from the polka dots shared security system making this entire ecosystem more efficient and connected now if we take a look at who is behind this blockchain who are the founders well First and foremost, we have Gavin Wood, who is one of the founders of Polkadot and is also a co-founder and CTO of Ethereum. He helped develop the pioneering blockchain as we know as ETH. We also have Robert here, which is a founding engineer of the Polkadot network. And he also has a previous experience in the entire blockchain community. So we have here two very distinguished individuals. And as you may or may not know, Polkadot was actually founded back in 2020. And as it has developed over the last four years or so, there's been Polkadot version 1 or Polkadot 1.0, and they are now slowly ramping up to Polkadot 2.0, which is ultimately improving Polkadot's entire ecosystem. So before we get into the nitty gritty of Polkadot and talk about some specific points that make Polkadot a very attractive ecosystem, we're going to take a look at its price because ultimately we are all in crypto to try and make money. And if we take a look, at polka dot it is a top 20 coin i believe it is currently at number 16 we have a 6.3 billion dollar market cap if we just take a look at the last month or so it's down about six percent if we take a look at the last year what we see here is of course a very similar path that every other altcoin has seen with bitcoin going up and of course bitcoin you know kind of just stagnating in a range well back in march polka dot did hit about 11 dollars and 30 cents and in terms of market cap that was roughly a 15 billion dollar market cap when all altcoins were doing very well so as we can see we are now back to some of the lower levels that polka dot has been and the question the question is now what is going to happen for polka dots price to come back to you know some of the higher highs that it's had if we take a look at what happened to it in 2021 well this is of course a polka dot in its infancy back in 2021 it was only out for let's say a year or so and it did hit a high of roughly 50 dollars and in terms of market cap it was over 50 billion dollars so the question remains can polka dot come back to life in this bull market and let's take a look at some of the key features that polka dot has so first and foremost a quick background check on the evolution of a polka dot over the last four years as i mentioned we had polka dot 1.0 now we're rolling into polka dot 2.0 and if we just take a look at some of the key differences here which ultimately make polka dot 2.0 much bigger faster scalable you know secure than polka dot 1.0 well we can see that polka dot 1.0 started in may 2020 2.0 was announced in 2023 and actually started 
in 2024 where asynchronous backing was introduced we have the parachain auction which we're going to dive into a little deeper parachains are essentially chains running in parallel to polka dots and we had here previously that people had to pay and participate in an auction to actually get some block space on the polka dot ecosystem so a very archaic method but with the new Polkadot 2.0, they are introducing a core time model, which was actually announced just a few days ago. And this is a model that allows for flexible block space, allowing teams or individuals or essentially whoever wants to create on a Polkadot to get a certain amount of block space that they need and not pay for anything else and essentially pay for the resources or the block space that they need without having to go through this whole auction process now a few more items we obviously have governance as this is a decentralized protocol so in polka dot 2.0 they've gone ahead and done this more decentralized than the previous 1.0 where the team was basically done by the council members developer experience we have a decentralized application centric on polkadot 2.0 which essentially allows anyone to create an application with the least amount of dot on different blockchains and the transaction speeds or of course scalability with the asynchronous backing has made the entire polkadot 2.0 system much more fast much more scalable as we can see here we have up to 1 million transactions per second with those 100 parachains that are all running in parallel with the asynchronous backing so if we give you guys a little bit more information on parachains and just what it is if it is your first time hearing about this you're like eric i have no idea what you're talking about well it is essentially a custom blockchain and it is running in parallel within the polka dot ecosystem so a parachain you know it, it gets its name from running in parallel to the main polka dot network and these parachains are specialized to serve different purposes think of you know applications that are specifically made for DeFi, or specifically made for gaming or specifically for data and compute power all of these can be parachains they can also you know be its own blockchain but it doesn't necessarily have to be a blockchain to be a parachain but ultimately, these are other projects running in parallel to the Polkadot network. And you could probably associate this or compare this to, let's say, a subnet on AVAX or a super chain on a Polygon. But ultimately, every ecosystem has its own twist. Now, what's important about these parachains is that they are all connected to the Polkadot's relay chain. And that is how all of these different parachains are interoperable within one another. So they can essentially talk to one another and exchange information or assets seamlessly thanks to the polka dot design. So that is of course very interesting. And to give you a few examples of some of the top parachains out there in terms of market cap, in terms of users, first we can talk about Moonbeam, which is a smart contract platform built on polka dot that makes it easy to deploy EVM compatible applications using coding language like Solidity. As you guys know, EVM language uses Solidity and Moonbeam allows, you know, D apps to be built utilizing EVM, but on the Polkadot network. Now we also have another very popular one, which is Aster. This is a decentralized smart contract platform on Polkadot that supports both EVM as well as WebAssembly smart contracts. So a little bit more flexibility than what Moonbeam provides. And it also allows developers to, of course, build D apps with cross-chain interoperability. And of course, this also allows developers to build D apps with cross-chain interoperability. Now, just another one that you may have heard of, Fala Network. This is mainly a cloud computing platform built on Polkadot. It's specifically designed for security and confidentiality of data. 
But ultimately, if you think of cloud computing, you're probably thinking of Ether or Render or a cache. You know, another very, very interesting project here in Fala Network, which is in fact a parachain of Polkadot. So Polkadot 2.0 is introducing asynchronous backing, which is, as I said, making the entire parachain ecosystem much faster as backing and blocks can be introduced simultaneously whereas prior to this polkadot 1.0 had synchronous backing meaning that the block had to be added and included before another block could be processed so as we can see with this diagram we have synchronous backing you can see every para block is introduced every six seconds but as we can see the backing and the inclusion has to take place before we have another backing and inclusion or before we have another para block introduced so the asynchronous backing essentially helps with scalability while not compromising on security as we can see here we can have have a backing and inclusion every six seconds which ultimately makes the entire parachain system much more efficient much more scalable and can attract a whole lot of new users because of its new scalability so moving on to another key aspect of a polka dot 2.0 well, this parachain auction where people essentially had to auction and bid against others to build on a polka dot, all of that is going away with the Agile Core Time model. As I was making this video, Agile Core Time actually came live and this is a huge milestone for the polka dot team in my opinion because now it allows anyone of any project size whether big or small to essentially have access to the exact block space that they want to have on Polkadot. So rather than their traditional model of parachains where people developers had to essentially stake their dot for two years and essentially have access to this block space now developers can purchase a single year, a month, even a couple of hours on the block space and basically have more flexibility with how they want to be using that block space on a polka dot. So this agile core time essentially breaks down the barrier to entry for new project developers coming on to the polka dot ecosystem because they don't necessarily have to purchase something or stake dot for two years. They can now have a whole lot more flexibility with the amount of block space they want to have. Now, another benefit to this Agile Core Time is that developers are actually paying in DOT. So the demand for DOT could likely increase rather than the previous model where it was simply staked for a certain amount of time. So now there is actually more utility to the dot token now there is a whole lot happening with polka dot 2.0 and one of the main objectives is to eventually replace the relay chain with jam which will essentially allow for development options to expand because right now the only development option on polka dot is those parachains although they are good they do have their limits and ultimately jam will replace all of this allowing developers to utilize smart contracts on polka dot as we know very similar to evm chains and that is the main goal of polka dot 2.0 and can you imagine when this launches which is likely in a year or even longer we're likely to see a massive amount of new apps new users on Polkadot 2.0. So to wrap everything up and to take a look at Polkadot's chart here, ever since March, we've been in this downtrend. We have not been able to break above this. We do have some support around $3.60. And right now we can see that Polkadot is hovering around $4.30. So what I am expecting in the next weeks, as you know, we continue seeing relief in the crypto space and in the markets, I am heavily looking at Polkadot 
waiting to see if we are able to break this downtrend and if we are the plan would be to come back test this downtrend as support and then go onwards with polka dot because we did see something very similar back in march you know from february all the way to the end of october 2023 we were again in this downtrend we weren't able to break above it and then boom we absolutely exploded so i would be able to see something like this happen once again with polka dot don't discount it put it on your watch list but of course do your own research understand what polka dot is trying to achieve and only invest money that you can afford to lose so with all of that being said i hope you guys now get a better grasp of what polka dot is let me know in the comment section below if you are invested in this i'm curious to see if you do or if you're not of course it is your decision at the end of the day but with all of that being said thank you polka dot for sponsoring this video of course we are going to continue making some educational videos on polka dot as well as if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash the like button and on top of that if you want more information if you want to follow along what i'm doing in the crypto space join a discord we have both a free discord as well as a vip discord those links are in the description below and with that said i'll catch you guys in my next video peace